General Michael Zarbo with the U.S. Army has been in Kuwait for the past five months. He came here to Warner Park to surprise his 16-year-old daughter, Victoria, while she was playing softball. But what he didn't realize was that his family had plans of their own. For the past 28 years, Michael Zarbo has been known as a U.S. Army serviceman. But just for one day, he's trading in his uniform for an umpire hat because today he's only known as dad. When they asked me to do this, I originally said no, I didn't want to do that. I didn't want to draw the attention of myself, uh, nor did I want to draw the attention of Victoria. Zarbo has been stationed in Kuwait for the past five months, but today he decided to do something extra special for his 16-year-old daughter, Victoria, something everyone else knew about, well, except for her. Mike Zarbo. Mike, Mike Zarbo. Zarbo. Nice to meet you. I was kind of nervous because uh, I, I didn't know if it was going to go off uh, go off as planned, but it, it went off without a hitch. And to see her, you talk about shock and awe, uh, I think that's what I just saw there, shock and awe. How does it feel to see your dad right now? Great. Oh, my gosh. I can't even, like, I can't even think right now. But the surprise didn't stop there. This time, it was a surprise for the colonel himself. His other kids also stopped by for a visit. Oh my goodness. Hey, what's up? What's up, Dad? How, How you doing, man? It's great to see you. Yeah, he's mentioned a few times that he's wished the other kids were here or he wished I could have brought this. You know, I wish my granddaughter was here. And um, it was very hard for me not to slip and say, well, they are. They're here. It's a commitment. It's a sacrifice. But it's something that, that uh, I just feel like I was put on this planet to do. Colonel Zabra will spend the day here in Chattanooga with his family, and then after a couple days, he'll head back to Kuwait. Reporting here at Warner Park, Alyssa Sparado, News Channel 9. Who's coming home? Who's coming home? Who's coming home? Hi, guys. Oh. Hey. Ford, look at you. Look how small you are. You lost all this weight. Come here, Otto. Otto, come here. Oh, whimper and wine. Hi. Look at you. Oh. Hey. <laughs> I see you, I see you don't know what to do, Otto. Turn some circles. This guy, you guys look great. Oh. Bandanas on. Hey, yeah, it's gonna be dressed up for daddy. Ford, who is it? Hey. <laughs> Oh, goodness gracious. Come here, Adam. Come here. Come here, buddy. Oh, I know. You don't, you're getting attention still. You're just sticking your tongue out. So I made a promise uh, to my daughters that I would be their first date. Uh, and so my uh, youngest daughter is turning 16. And uh, I have two daughters, and so since uh, I've the first date, we'll get a limo, we'll surprise her because she still believes that I'm deployed, uh, as I have been for the last six months. And uh, so we're going to have a sweet 16, uh, spend a couple hours in the limo, give her uh, a, a traditional gift that I give my daughters on their 16th birthday, and uh, try to make it very special and memorable for her. She has no idea what's going on. As a matter of fact, this is the first time in a couple of years that we'll have our entire family together. Uh, so her brother uh, and I have come in in the last uh, 24 hours. Uh, we'll have our entire family together for the holidays and uh, we're excited about that. And uh, also uh, taking an opportunity to celebrate her birthday with her. So, so part of our, uh, our nightly ritual, uh, thanks, thanks to uh, FaceTime, we get a chance to see each other daily. And uh, so I was her first birthday wish on Southwest Asia time. Uh, kind of from the hotel room, kind of worked that so that uh, she's still under the premise that uh, I won't be able to be here today. So we're really looking forward to the surprise when she sees that uh, we're actually physically here. Thank you. No, uh-uh. How you doing? I'm good, sir. Yourself? Okay. All I'm right. Glenn. Andre Wiley. Welcome back. This is Andre the second. How you doing? Okay. I know you got your hands full. It's yeah. all good. Right. So we're going to hop in. So we'll just hop out kind when she surprise. gets here. All right. Kind of a surprise. Thing yes. Going here. Yeah. I just got back Let's from. Get in the other place. Okay. A little easier. You just got back. Yes. Last night. And oh, wow. So just for a little bit of R&R. &R and, uh, right. I got to turn on the lights. So okay. That's what happened last time. It was
so many people. Everybody we passed had a camera. I was like, does everybody have a camera? <laughs> you want to smile for the cameras? <laughs> yeah, you want to stop crying? Oh, <laughs> uh, I think these are for you. Happy birthday! <laughs> Are you gonna be okay? <laughs> and I also have a special guest that came to see you. Oh yeah, two guests. Actually, I have two guests. I don't want to see you up here. <laughs> Your two <laughs> friends came to see you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> That's your FaceTime buddies. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> so are you surprised? Yeah. <laughs> Just a little bit. <laughs> Were you on uh, FaceTime with them yesterday? <laughs> yeah, I was on FaceTime with them this morning. Oh, this morning? Well, like late, late last night. Oh, late last night. And what did you? What was going on? I mean, you're thinking that there's no way that he'd ever show up. Well, I thought he was coming in April or May. Okay. And so, so what did you think when you saw the limousine? Did you know it was him? Well, I thought it was just my mom and my friends. Okay. And I didn't know I was going to see my brother either. He said he had to work. Yeah, and so describe to me what you were feeling when you saw your dad jump out of the limousine. I was like, who dressed up like him? <laughs> <laughs> and so is this a great birthday present or? The best birthday ever. Best birthday ever. So dad, what's, what's going through your your mind now as you got a chance to see your daughter? Well, uh, it's been six months. So just the reunion part is, is emotional within itself. And then the reality that she is 16, growing up to be a beautiful young lady. Uh, so.
we called Dad because we were going to surprise him at work. <laughs> and he said, I'm eating. We were, we just got on 635. And we called your we called our parents and stole them.
Xavier. Xavier. Come here, Xavier. Okay, I'm recording. I'm recording. Where is he coming? Who is that? Caleb, look. Who is that? Look, Caleb. Daddy! Who is that? That was Nick, don't you? Huh? You remember Nick, don't you? <laughs> <laughs> 